Hi everyone, this is Prepping by Faith. Welcome back to my channel. So the subject we are going to tackle today is, can we prep for free? I'm going to preface this with, that depends on your definition of free. This isn't going to be one of those videos where I give you some tidbits sprinkled here and there and don't really provide you any real information that you are looking for. I'm going to be honest and upfront with you and tell you before I get into these, that they are ways of prepping on the cheap, but the prepping itself is an investment. It is a lifestyle choice and it is insurance for you and your family. You can get started for cheap. We should all be familiar with beans and rice by now, but there is a lot more to prepping than just beans and rice. So let's get started. One of the best ways to prep for cheap is to repurpose items you already have. There's a lot of lunch meat that comes in plastic containers. Save these and use them for Tupperware. Those little plastic containers you get from the fruit cups and applesauce, save those and use them when you wanna ration out taco sauce, dipping sauces, or to keep yourself honest with portion sizes. They also make good paint mixing cups for kids. You can also save peanut butter jars, jam jars, and coffee cans. You can repurpose your peanut butter and jam jars to store dried goods inside or foods you have dehydrated. I prefer the glass jars myself, but if you're comfortable with plastic, that's up to you. You can use your empty coffee cans to store used grease inside from cooking. This allows you to store up quite a bit of old grease you aren't repeatedly having to figure out what to do with, and it seals in the odors with the lid. I keep one under my kitchen sink for this purpose. Old t-shirts and socks can be converted to cleaning rags. You can save your plastic water jugs and either refill them with water to store or you can repurpose them into a planner. All of those plastic bags you get from the grocery stores, convert them into trash can liners for your small trash cans or use them to pick up dog poop. One man's trash is another man's treasure and repurposing items is not only a great way to save money, it is a great way to start prepping for nearly free. The wonderful thing about repurposing items is it frees up more of your money so that you can purchase other preps you still need. Another way preppers store dried goods for long term for free is to ask local bakeries in the area for some of the food grade buckets they are disposing of. These can be cleaned out and then packed with rice, flour, beans, or other grains for long term storage. It has also been mentioned that if you are struggling, you can get many food staples from churches and other programs in your area that assist with families who are having a difficult time putting food on the table. Some of these items can be stored for long term. While I'm not advocating you do this or not, everyone's situation is different and I say let your conscience be your guide. I know that sales are more difficult to come by these days, but you can still watch the local ads and plan your shopping around what's on sale. Even if you don't need that particular cut of meat or that specific canned vegetable, if there is a significant price reduction or a buy one get one, take advantage of that opportunity to put up a little extra in your preps. We are going to have to get cleverer about how to prep on a budget and shopping sales and using coupons is a great way to do this. Another place to get items for a good price is the dollar store. There are many preppers in our online community that shop there regularly and they find so many unique items. If you don't make a habit of checking out your local Dollar Tree or Family Dollar, I suggest you do so you can see what items they offer that could be added to your preps for cheap. One of the things I really like are their candles that come in a glass jar. Once you've used that candle, you can bet there is a way to repurpose that jar. You can hit up places like thrift stores and garage sales. We are coming up on prime garage sale season, so if there are items you know you still need, it's possible you could find many of these there. Now is the time to make your list of things you're still looking for so you can be mindful of these things when you are out and about. I know that in my area, there are community pages on Facebook that you can join where people are selling items for very cheap or they are often giving them away for free. This is a great way to get preps put up, even if it's a toy you can clean up for your child's birthday or the next size up in clothing. When it comes to gardening, this is another area we can learn to prep for cheap. Once we have established a garden, we can learn to create our own compost out of leftover food scraps, yard clippings, coffee grounds, cardboard, and eggshells. Composting is a wonderful way to replenish the nutrients in our soil and will most likely be a necessary skill going forward with the fertilizer shortages we are witnessing. Saving seeds from successful planting seasons is also a way to prep for free. Not only do you know these plants made it and these seeds are more likely to grow, it didn't cost you anything but some time to put them up. There are many in the community that will also share seeds with you, and I know Pinball Preparedness actually had seeds traveling around the country for this very purpose. 
The last thing I want to mention, and I feel like it's arguably the most important, is knowledge. There is so much information available to us for free on the internet, whether it's a prepping channel you watch on YouTube or just a search engine where you can locate anything with a few keystrokes. Knowledge is invaluable. Even if you don't have a printer, you can either go to the library to print out the information for free, or you can get yourself a notebook for cheap and jot down notes. Having information on how to garden, cook, fix things, store food, stay warm without power, etc. is invaluable in an SHTF situation. Now, a lot of people will say skills over gear. I agree with this to a certain point. However, I'm going to be honest. You can't build those skills without some knowledge in the first place, and many of those skills you can't practice without tools. So they all have a place and they all have a purpose. Make it a priority to start tackling one tool you need a month, whether it's a shovel or rake for gardening or a tent to keep warm. Some months you may have more money at your disposal than others. The point is prepping is a sacrifice, and we make sacrifices for the things that are important and the ones we love. Prepping isn't impossible if you start breaking it down in affordable and manageable chunks and you realize that there is always something you can do to prepare for yourself for any SHTF. Do you have other suggestions for prepping for free or nearly free? Are there other things I didn't mention that you practice now? If so, I'd love to hear about them. Leave them in the comments section below. If you've learned something from this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Remember to pray, prep, and put God first. God bless.